This the one right here. We turning up. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sip? My man roller, he bring a zip. Right. Any Moscato and do say whatever you wanna get. Nothing but them good vibes when we come through. It's a fun event. All the ladies call your girls, all my niggas call your guys. Fall in line, they ain't got no plans. You can tell them to slide. I'm feast of beast, they told you otherwise. Them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me. I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. Let's get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be. Sorry you ain't here, light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here This the one, they say they like it, play it back, it got a mic But I'm excited, never tired, just keep it going with fire keep it going. I just wanna catch a vibe I'm privileged drinkers, baby I just wanna catch a vibe, hey. I just wanna catch a vibe Get high, have a good time, I just wanna catch a vibe, hey. I just wanna catch a vibe oh. Yo, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged drinker, safe testers for the hood. But suburban safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got a very, very special episode. We got some surprises uh, for you guys. Um, we got a. a, a I ain't going. I mean, he's a, a, a member, but then he got his own shit going on. We got uh, a, a a guy that you know he he wanted to give us his presence a little bit. So um, you know. We gonna we gonna we gonna bring him in a little. Yeah yeah, you know what I mean we gonna catch a vibe for sure for sure. But before we bring him in, you know what I mean let let the guys bring themselves in, let them talk. Uh, you got Unk here, um, you know regular guy, ain't shit. No Graham Reese, Unk Reese, whatever you want to call me, I don't give a fuck. But you know we got a uh, we got an exciting episode that we want to talk about today. Uh, it's it's brought to you by the Cap himself. This was his ideas. So we are gonna give him the credit for it. So. Any backlash, he can take that too. So that's just how that's going to work. Um, but, Remember, recognition. Yeah, I mean, Babies are cry for it, men are die for it. Recognition. <laughs> Remember that. Word. So, uh, like I said, you got Unk uh, to the left of me. Dirty. No, it is. Uh, so it is me. I wasn't sure if it was like the same. <laughs> Yeah, for yeah, everybody yeah. looking, but <laughs> it's the dirtiest motherfucker alive. You know, I'm back with another one of my guys, and I've been drinking for a few hours now, so I'm grooving. Absolutely, absolutely. And to my left, and to the opposite side of whatever side that was sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, folks? It's Dank Pooty. I'm here, sip the time with my clammy D's, and we about to get this thing rocking. Word. And the last person. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting the captain here, live from the cockpit. Um, we have our co-captains, Booty, No Graham, and Dirty, flying alongside me this evening. We're going to be flying at a smooth altitude of 35,000 feet. We're going to be flying on down to Tampa. Amen. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> take, y'all, take y'all to Tampa. Ah, take y'all to Tampa. Get, get familiar with the parts. And see, and, what, and with, with that being said, none other than the guy, 2 3 Drees. Hey. My man Captain slid down to Tampa, man. I'm here, baby. It's been I'm privileged drinkers, slid. baby. It's been a long time I slid on there. Last time I was on there, I was uh, considered single. I'm married now, baby. <laughs> Damn, how about that? Throw the yeah, rings yeah. up. It's been, it's been a long time since I've been with you guys, man. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But you know how we do. Without further ado, you know what we got to do before we do anything else. It's shot a clock, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Got a clock. I got me some tequila, some alto uh, that my man Nige oh, yeah. and Dre left. Yeah, I was about to introduce them. Introduce them in the same order. Let's go, Dirt. Well, you know, I'm straight from the bottle tonight. I got pure white Hennessy. Word. Pure white. Ooh, damn. Okay. Expensive, expensive damn. taste. I'm making the expensive taste. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, no. my gosh. <laughs> It's been sitting here for the longest because I don't want to drink it, taste. Oh, okay. man. Okay. 
All right, well. Pooty. I don't know. I got some shit you just did. <laughs> <laughs> it must be some. You must got the SoCo. Dre so love it. Captain love it. You did. Captain love that SoCo. SoCo 100 proof. Luna's on. Oh, okay. Repo. Okay. I mean, I'm on budget this week. I want something to drink for this evening. Drink with my guys, man. You know what I mean? Nothing special. You know? Absolutely. Nothing special. Wait, wait. But, uh, so that's what I'm, I'm shouting as well. Gotcha. Apparently. Uh, then I, we'll, we'll get into the, the drinks that we're, we're each having. But uh, okay. let's get it right. Because I, I made a drink, man. And who do you like some more than me? I was, I, I talk about it. Let's shout at Fox time. Let's get it. Oh, what you got, Drees? Oh, uh, shit. My bad. I, got, I forgot I got, about you. I got, I got a rep on as well. Tequila, me familiar. Flores, my first time drinking at night. Shout out to my guy. Two all that day. He broke it through. Got Take you, it got off the top. Word. The top is a shot glass. So. Absolutely. I fucks with that. All right. Well, let's yep. get it. Drinks up. Shot of clock. Shot of clock. Absolutely. Right there. That's definitely the move. Woo! Woo, man. Ah, man, that was good. I'm probably like, so, that might be like my sixth shot today. Question. How much of the outsoles do you have left that me and Nas left? Real quick. It might be like a quarter of a bottle left. Nah, you've been doing a little Mr. Nasty time, huh? Because I know we love way more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Reese, you said you had six shots. I'm probably at like, yeah, I probably had three or four shots with uh, Dink and his wife. I had, I got like a a drinking buddy on Instagram. If that makes sense, had a couple <laughs> shots there. Really? I don't know how that works. It don't make sense <laughs> to me. I don't know okay. How that works. Well, one person sends a video of a shot. And the other person says the video back of a shot. Oh, that's how I go. Okay. That's got you. I, 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 guess, I guess I got to catch up then because all you motherfuckers were drinking. I was at the gym. <laughs> then I made myself another God damn. concoction. It's, it, it, this might be better than the first one I had, honestly. What's so? Well, you know, we, we'll get into it a little later. I don't want to know the ingredients yet. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, let, yeah, let me yeah. know because I'm damn sure it's about to I want to try it too. Yeah, I want to try it too. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, uh, what I want to say, damn, I forgot my little train of thought just left me, but no, how was everybody's week, man? Like, you know, obviously it's a Friday. We up, um, you know what I mean? I'm going to like, do a quick recap before we jump into the topics. I think, I think we should flow in the same order as the introduction. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, week was pretty solid. Nothing crazy. Um, my grass was growing a little high. Me and Drew were talking before we started like recording. He said he needed his grass cut. My grass is, was like crazy. Like they come around the county to put the joint in your grass and like you gotta get the shit cut in a couple of days before. So the bull came out today, got that shit down. Um, we went to the county fair again today. Uh, it was too much fucking walking. I was tired. Got irritated real quick. I was ready to come home. It was about to start raining. So I, like I was over that shit today. I didn't feel like all of it. But they want to get on every fucking ride. You know what I mean? So I was definitely over it. But <laughs> Yeah, I was over that shit. But yeah, we, we you know what I mean? We home now, so we cooling. You know what I mean? We drinking with the guys. But that's my week in a, in a nutshell. Isn't that crazy? Mr. Dirt? Uh, my week, yeah, my week, it, it, it's been like a, as, as regular as a week can be for me so far. Like, we, we spoke on previous episodes about how I'm, uh, a teacher in the summer program in my school and this last week this past week and this upcoming week it's a lot of paperwork being done a lot of like different nuances that i have to do and i got to figure out that i'm not used to but that's basically what my week has been like mm. testing for the kids uh making sure they got the right i can't even explain it honestly if I say if I say the words I want to say, y'all gonna be like, we don't know what that is. So I'm just leaving it be. But <laughs> I mean, you never know. My week has been nothing. But my week is like work has come home with me every day this week, which is weird for me. That never really happens. But okay. you know, it's been a regular week. 
Okay. I've drank a little, I think. Okay. Who's the next? Uh, who's Pooty? Pooty. Um, I say my week was cool. I ain't really do nothing. Uh, Monday we welcomed the uh, cat back. He uh wanted to have some drinks. Of so, course. Uh, he came to the <laughs> yeah, came to the house. He texted me first, uh, saying, you know, you mind grabbing a case of beer, and um, you know, coming to drink or whatever. You know, just coming back from the trip. My man Dirt provided the beer. Um, <laughs> what kind of beer? Moosehead. Oh, classic. Um, yeah, we had some Moosehead and Maker's Mark. Nice. The uh, the Maker's Mark that was left from uh, last Saturday from our, uh, oh from the night. party yeah, that Eve work. Yeah, we uh drunk that and just talked, and then the next day. Uh, I think it was me, Dirt, Za, and Terry came back, and then we finished the rest of the uh, Maker's Mark. And that was it. Yo, I forgot about both of those fucking days. God damn. <laughs> I know shit do get blurry, don't it? Yeah, it we some, really we, does. We some drinkers. Wow. We some drinker drinkers. That's right. That's right. I'm privileged yeah, drinkers, that was, that was baby. That was uh, my week. Word. All right, Mr. The, the Cat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your cat speaking once again. Uh, we, we've uh, climbed up to about 28,000 feet. We'll be reaching cruising out soon in about less than two minutes. Uh, I went to Tampa. Had, had a great time this weekend. Um, went down there and um, I, I, I fell in love the first time. And what I say about Tampa is like it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 slow pace. Like like I looked at it before. I ain't, I ain't look at. It. I went down there for the podcast first time. Went to go see you know some friends of mine the, the second time. Um, going down there, it's it's slow. Like it, it really is, man. It's like when when you put your life on cruise. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking about. Like actually, like maybe purchasing like you know like a uh, like. Maybe like a beach house or something down there, you know what I mean? Vacation home, or Dang. even personally, like you know what I mean? Because the post office, we have an actual retirement community in Tampa. Like one of my supervisors, <laughs> literally, um, is having his house built from the ground up right now. I think he'll be going in in about five years. So I'm, I've been getting my knowledge about you know Tampa, you know, going down there. It's it's it's, it's a great mile relaxer, man. Coming from Philly, man. You know, hmm. I wouldn't even call it a culture shock no more, man, because I went there twice in like a month and a half. You know, I mean, I love it. So I um, had, had a great time, man. You know, this you week, it was just... Huh? Huh? <laughs> what is that? Nothing. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, so this week, you know, um, I went... What I left? I left on Friday, came back Monday. Um, It didn't fly by. I took a 530 flight. I'm going to Tampa. I had a 620 coming back. Uh, first time flying on Frontier. I've heard all the horror stories about Frontier. Um, Frontier was cool with me. Um, mm-hmm. I don't appreciate the uh, the trade tables that they like. I don't like. You can't put but so much on Frontier's trade tables, man. You you ain't going to be sitting. You can't sit up there with a, with a biscuit meal Sunday dinner, man. It's like you can get you some pretzels and maybe a little drink. And you got to be careful with that. You be to knock shit over. Like it's really maybe. I ain't no fucking car material, but if I had a guess, man, maybe a six by four freight table, if that. Six nah, inches? That <laughs> or, yeah. Right. And of I course, like, I've flown on Spirit know. many times. Um, of course, the seats don't go back, man, but, you know, it served its purpose. Um, a little bumpy. Um, coming back uh, more so. Um, about an hour away from Philly. Um, but I, I had a great time, man. Uh, and I'll be looking forward to going back uh, as soon as Dreeks uh, invites us back. Uh, <laughs> as so, so, so soon as he invites us back. But that was pretty much, oh, that's what I was saying. So get, I was pretty much getting acclimated to work week after I came back Monday. Because I went to work Tuesday. And it's the, the, the day after, like, you should always honestly take 
the next day off just to get reacclimated back to your home in your home base wherever you live at because tuesday was rough man i was just like i was just slow like that's why i was walking through mud when i was working on tuesday man so i i suggest that everybody man whatever you do man take that next day off even though i, I actually arrived back in philly nine o'clock in the morning um monday morning and i had a chance to uh rest up go drink a pooty as he stated um had a taste of beer um but you know the week actually smoothed out started getting back to the gym man trying to get my workout on i'll be at carnival miami baby my birthday man let's get it as got stuck getting pump on again man get back at it um so that's what i actually went to him right after work today man you know what i mean hell you know what i mean so wealth equals health and all that good stuff health equals wealth whatever the fuck they said but i'm in it <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm uh, in it, man. I showed y'all a video. Jesus, like, squeeze it back. I should have sent y'all a video. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't take this fucking bar. <laughs> I can't stand this fucking bar. So just get, get back to the routine because I got weights in my basement, man. But getting back in that gym flow, man, that shit felt good, man. Felt good getting back around there, man. And the crazy part is, I, I asked the lady, the uh, customer service rep, I said, yo, when was the last time I was actually at a, in a fitness she was like, yo, you ain't been here since March of 2020. I said, yeah, that's about this pandemic started. Yeah, I was scared shit to go to the gym. So today was the first day I actually stepped back to the gym, man. I'm not, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back at this shit, man. I really am. I was excited about it, man. So um, other than that, that 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 pretty was my week. I, I got a funny story. Uh, one of my friends uh, works at a uh, nursing home. Real quick, they lost the fucking resident. Right over there, the nursing home is somewhere like around schoolhouse and like German Sun Ave. The fucking resident walked to the, the old path part. They used to be on a shell in the wing. Mm, they lost okay. they lost the resident. Resident was lost. She gets to work and wonder why everybody's running out the building. The resident walked from fucking one of the little uh uh what you call them? Uh, nursing homes around like schoolhouse lane like uh German Sun Ave all the yeah. way up to shell in the wing. Motherfucker was at the supermarket. Friday, get y'all food and all this shit. <laughs> Yo, that, that, so that, that's one of my little funny stories, man. And uh, happy to be back, man, real quick. You know, a little, little comedy for y'all, man. Back with my, my, my guys, man, drinking. It's always a pleasure to see my, my guy, Drees, right there, man. Shout out to Good Ass Show, man. My guy, love you, man. Love you and the family. Let's, let's get at this shit, man. Let's keep rising above, man. Expectations. Absolutely. And uh, last and but not least. Real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Damn. Drees. <laughs> Did anything change or is everything still the same? <laughs> yeah, man, 32 stories. And- <laughs> yeah, <cool. laughs> but you know, you know what fucks me up, though? He says, other than that. One more thing. You talk about you told us everything. There's nothing other than that. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Right, right. <laughs> but um, I just change. got I just got done with me. Good ass show, my boy show. He right here. He just pulled up right now. We just got done the what's show. Up, yeah, Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Hey, fellas, and earlier this week, I mean, me and my wife, we took our first vacation together by ourselves without our daughter. So that was something different. We went down to the Bahamas. We had some Bohemian beer. Uh, we had one called Sands. It was basic. It was bland. And then somebody introduced us to this other one. It was called like Cracklin or Cacklin. They start with a K. Some shit. Okay. And that I shit seen was it. fire. That shit had more flavor. That shit had more pop. It was, it was less. It was, I think one was, uh, the Sands was like 5.5. Okay. Uh, um, a- ABV. That mm-hmm. one was like five. It was a little bit less, but it tastes like the taste was way better, man. I, I fuck with that one. The one that had the blue, I made some TikToks with it, some videos with it. The one that had the blue is the better one. That shit was fire. But we had a good time. Our first time away uh, together as being a married couple without our daughter. So Amazing. now I'm back here doing this show and I'm with y'all guys. I ain't do this shit. I told uh, Reese before we got on, I ain't do this since uh, me and Daryl, me and Dirty, we went down to uh, Jacksonville. We was in the car. So right. I'm glad to be back on with y'all fellas. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right, right. That was yeah. a crazy, crazy episode. That was a a damn good episode to be honest. Like it was real deep. We start talking about mental health and everything. That was a good episode though. We yeah. Had a lot and of- I also feel like that was one of our longer episodes too. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a good one. That was definitely a good one. If y'all ain't go here, go check that out. I think it was called um 
Uh, what was it called? I know it was like we recorded like in January or something. I can't think of the name of it though, because that was well, the last was game like of the really season. Really? So we, we yep, it was like right at the end. Mm-hmm. Damn, I can't think of the name of the episode, but yeah, it was that, one of the that early. Was the, that, that was the uh, biggest shock of the NFL season. Yeah, yeah, because I think we were talking about A B and all that after he jumped off, the, uh, like hopped off the field and all that. So it was yeah. like a um, yeah, we kind of touched bases on a lot of different stuff. So that was dope. And coach, uh, coach lost to the Jags. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest shock of the season. <laughs> Shout out but to the bull Lonnie. Like, to be, but but like in in, in the coast part. Bart. Trevor Lawrence looks better than he's ever looked. Like he looks better than he's ever looked the whole season. Right. Like, he's making passes. He's making accurate passes on the run. He's moving down the field. Just shit that you didn't see. Yeah. And, you the, know Colts, and, and the Colts in the hole look horrible. You know what right. that did? It made it it, it it expectations are higher for him now just from off that one game. Gotcha. They even yeah. still he's the number one pick, right? So right, he's the number right, one yeah. pick, but. You know, with all the shit that was going were, on, and then how they just got them right out, like playoff contention, he is it, high expectations yeah. from him now. Shit, Wentz got traded That's because crazy. of that shit. <laughs> it is fact. fucked up how they blamed it all on him, though. Right, they shit got him the fuck out. Hey, Wentz couldn't get past the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Taylor couldn't get past the line of scrimmage. Right. Yeah, that game was crazy. Um. So today's topic, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the cap get into it because these are his ideas. Um, I want to give him the credit for it. I thought they were pretty dope um, in the sense of uh, all of us do drink, and um, it's kind of like a thing, especially in our culture. Like you know, what I mean, you are gonna get some henny in you, and you are gonna get that. You gonna get a chick some henny. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it on here, but y'all know what I'm getting at. So, with that being said. I want to turn it over to Cap uh, for him to be able to, you know what I mean, like pose that question to us because, you know, we haven't discussed it. We just saw the question, and I want us to kind of like see what, where everybody's head at when they're thinking of that particular topic and, you know, I, if it's true or not, or, or if, if, do you feel like it makes a difference? So, Cap? Yes, uh, so Limit your question. time. Limit your time. <laughs> Man, you shut the fuck up on the talk, boy. <laughs> uh, so we this is a drinking podcast, of course. Um, I'm privileged drinkers, and that's what we do. We drink. So, um, and actually, was was being discussed at work. We talk all types of stuff at work, and uh, and we we decided we was talking about does alcohol. For a man, enhance his performance in the bedroom. Is that is that a myth, or is it true? You know, if you look up, what does alcohol do to your body, like sexually? Like it really, honestly, it, it fills out the blood from what I get from it, and, and it shouldn't really give you that extra. Mm. So, but we all know it sometimes to be whiskey thick. Henny dick, you know, gives you that extra push. I mean, take you over the top, make her gush. Hey. So, the, 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 the question I have for you guys, man. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Is it a myth or is it factual? It is not a myth. Okay, you want to take a stab at it first? Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, liquor does things to you. Like, it's it's crazy because like, you, like I feel like every man has had that moment where it was like, yeah, I'm in and out. Like, it happens sometimes. You can't get away from it. You never know when it's going to happen because you can't control it. But if you're a guy who that happens to every single time like you're just a premature person <laughs> if you take two or three shots if you're not a drinker maybe mm. a few more shots if you are a drinker you will activate it uh, activate is I, I guess if that's the word you want to use it'll yeah. take you beyond like you'll go from uh, how can i say it? <laughs> you, you ever seen like i mean we've all seen like uh captain america you know how he was before he got the super serum. 
It Jesus takes you from Christ. that to, to actually being Catholic. So he goes from being uh the scrawny little. I forgot. I'm sorry. Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he goes from being Steve Rogers to Captain America. Right. And hey, that's 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 like a real thing now. Right. And it doesn't right. even have to just be Henny. It can be any liquor. I feel right. like uh, for me, the liquor get me more freaky. Like I'd be in my freak bag. <laughs> like I That's like, hilarious. If I just came home from work, if I just came home from work a little bit tired, you mean get one off real quick, I'd be in my lazy bag. I got a little bit of drinks in me. Can't take another level, baby. I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put you here, I'm gonna put you here, put you upside down. You know I mean? I'm, 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 I'm more into it. You know I mean sometimes right. sometimes you sometimes you just when you you know tired of the band. I just feel like yeah, well no, the liquor, they put you in different level. You got I'm gonna hear the music. Yeah, ain't no music playing, but you hear the music. You be fucking jumping in the first You be fucking jumping in that shit. Yeah, you hear the ain't no music playing, but you hear it. Hey, right. That's the difference with the liquor and without the liquor. Right? <laughs> that's a good assessment. That's a good assessment. Yeah. That's funny. Um, I go. I I I take a crack at it next. Um, I don't know if it's mental or if it is because, like you said, when you look at it statistically, it shouldn't help because, like you said, it thins your blood. Obviously, as a man, that's how you get to that point. Blood rushes there, so if it thins it out, typically that can cause a problem. But maybe it's more so like over the course of time that it does that. I don't know. But everybody, like I said, everybody know we've been talking about that shit for ages, giving your lady or significant other that henny, you know what I'm saying, or whatever it is. If we throw it false, if that's the case in the long run, we're all fucked because we drink a lot. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing wrong I mean, with my gang. So, name, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing my thing with what I got, but I just think that it does do something. Like I, I agree with it, what everybody said so far. Like I said, like you do, like when you drinking, your your lady's drinking, you know what I'm saying. Like at the end of the night, it's on and popping. You, you feel like you be in that motherfucker for hours. I don't know, like it, it's it, it do something. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something that it does. Cause you and that John, like you said, you you might get a little bit of a squirt action going on you know what i mean like it's it can get it can get real crazy so i know if i'm out drinking or if i'm on vacation more so i ain't got the kids with me like my man drees like you go away and you got no kids oh man it's on and popping you're getting bal- your balcony work you're getting bent over that joint it's all kinds of it's getting oh, real man. crazy out there, out the balcony because he's thrusting up so fucking hard oh man listen it, it goes down when you ain't got no kids to worry about you know what i mean right now Got a little one, so it'd be you know what I mean you gotta get in where you fit in, but at the same time, Jesus Christ. Yo, Avery, hold on, hold on. Open your legs, bitch. <laughs> it's crazy. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, listen. Shit get real, man. But yeah, I think it do make a difference. You know what I mean? Maybe it's confidence that that, that a motherfucker get. I don't know. Like it's honey wrapped in in, 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 in liquor somehow. I don't know. But even if you even if you think about it, like without the sex aspect of it, if you drink in general, like you're a different person, not necessarily a different person, but like your confidence is boosted. So yes. it does that for you. That it does that for you automatically. Then it just right. makes you last longer. Right. But I feel like not even for not even for the for the guys though either. But like for the ladies, they will do some shit on the liquor that they won't do regularly without the liquor. It's a fact. And open, Facts. Both you, both of you will open up with some like more ideas. Like, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, it gives you that confidence. It gives you that confidence that you can right. yeah, So, you know what I mean? That's true. That's a fact. Oh. Yo, yo, y'all ever had a, a woman be like, yeah, hey, come on, take it up. They, they, they sitting up there forcing the shots. So, forcing the drink. Yeah, hey, come on, keep, keep drinking. They keep drinking. They they know what to do. They know, right. they know what to do. But for you and her, hey, come on. Right. I'm Have another around. one. Uh, I, I'm coming home and I'm looking to drink the whole one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm privileged at the dark. I'm privileged drinkers, yeah. baby. We know, we know we know those titles. Uh, uh, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Pootie, uh, last 
not least, but you know what I mean? The, what you think? Um, I'll basically put it like this. When I'm drinking and I'm getting in that mode, the same shit I tell my wife all the time. Uh, I'm faded and I'm X-rated. It's Mr. Nasty time. It's just as simple as that. So uh, whether it be me drinking a bunch of shots or me having a couple of beers, well, yeah, it's going down. And, I mean, like you and Drew said, there ain't no kids around. Game time. Really, Mr. Nasty Time. It's Mr. Freaky Nasty Time. Right. And, uh, going to triple overtime. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting, it's, it's, it's getting that. It's going down. I'm, I'm doing extra rounds and all kinds of shit. Like when you order, you ain't got that them rounds in, in, in you no more. Like hey. that should be dead. But when you get the get the liquor in you, you feel confident. You feel like you know, super, super, super fucker. Like you just want to you want to tear the coochie yeah. up all night. Or all day. You, I mean, in, I you fucking drinking. Like, you get the liquor in you feel like you uh, can climb Mount Everest. I ain't going to say all that, but I get what you, you do point. At that point. I get the point. You can do anything at that point. <laughs> you, just got, you just got all the, all the energy in the world, and you just ready to tear that hole up. <laughs> it's like Dre now. He's rubbing the hole up. <laughs> sure. Right, right, right. Rubbing off on him. Man. Just, <laughs> so just like him. Yeah, you just you know you, you, you and your significant other you enjoying each other's time and you and your busy. lovely, you know you and your yeah. lovely. <laughs> oh no, I don't say that bullshit. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> that's him. That's that's that's, that's his shit. But, yeah. Um, so I guess yeah, and we all agree because. Uh, Again, we've all had those experiences. We all grown, you know what I'm saying? You, you we we go out, you drink if you're with your lady, or even if you ain't with her, like you you out drinking and you like, listen, you better get ready. I'm on my way home. It's game time. So, yeah, you know I mean, like we we all been there. Um, but yeah, I, I guess like I said, we all agree with with that, and um, it's cool with me. You know what I mean? Like, I think right now, and and this is from us doing the podcast. Um, for those who are out there who don't know or don't, um, this is our first time maybe hearing this. We've been doing this for a little over two years now. And one of the things that we discovered in knowing, which we didn't know, but I, I love tequila coming into doing the podcast. But what we found out was tequila was the only upper. So it really started to make sense for me why I, li- I started to like it even more due to the fact that when I drink Henny, whiskey, I'm more, I am more subdued. I'm more laid back. I'm chilling. But tequila, I'm ready to go. Like I'm, I'm being a mix more. So, I didn't know that. And I, shout out to Mr. Daryl Spann. He helped. Out, he looked out and kind of gave us that information. So, Grant, you know what I mean. So, if you want some tequila, you can always go to uh, cwspears.com. Get that Grand Leenda. Use the code UMP5. Yeah, you know I mean, you get a discount off of that. Anything over 125 dollars is free shipping. So, you know I mean, go get into that. You know what I'm saying. So, go look at go go to CW Spears. Go look up Grand Leenda. It's an organic tequila. If you want to, you know, I mean, you just want something new, different. Try that. I think you'll love it. Um, it's one of our favorites as a as a whole. But um, before we jump into anything next, um, I wanted to hear about Dirt, the uh, the mixed drink that you had, and then I wanted to hear about the joint that uh, uh, Cat made. All right. So, <clears throat> well, as you can see, it's at the end. Damn. We've been about Damn. to record for a long fucking time now. So this is true. I've been drinking. <laughs> Last week, I'm in the house. I've been like on a little bit of a health kick lately, so I got fruit laying around, and I've been making smoothies. I had a few of the simply lemonades, and I decided to make a alcoholic smoothie. The first one I made was with the strawberry simply and the berry, some strawberries and blueberries. Mm-hmm. With a shot of red berry Syrah. Fucking amazing. So I come in today. I have another lemonade, but it's just regular lemonade, not strawberry lemonade this time. So I did the tropical mix of like mangoes, papayas, pineapples. Hmm. Mm, Break it. Shot of mango. Break it. Strawberries <laughs> again, shot of mango Syrah. And we got the. Tropical simply. Okay. I, 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 if if I don't make them for you, I feel like y'all got to make them for yourself. Yeah, really that good. Well, I'll they be on the wall. You can make a song. It's simple. 
Right. No, we got we got to move tomorrow. We got something to do tomorrow. Who? Who? Us. Who us? <laughs> the group. What are we doing? Uh, I guess we'll talk about it later. Hey, I, listen, <laughs> man. I, listen, I don't know who, what the fuck's going on. Who? Hey, listen, but, man. I, I, but, but besides that, the drink is amazing. Like it, it, it's like one of the best. Like it, it's reminiscent of like for me at least, it's reminiscent of the uh, the big ass margaritas you get from Mad Max, but vodka. Okay. okay. So it's I a good joint. It. It, it's definitely a good joint. The base, the base of the drink is the uh, simply lemonade. Gotcha. A one. So, uh, dirt. I am uh, waiting for mine. I was promised one. You know where I live. I was promised one. <laughs> <laughs> you I might not get the fuck in though. See, see, see. This is the thing though. This, this is what I hate about people. They know where I live. They know how to get to where I live. They know how to call me to ask me if they can come to where I live, and they don't come. That's not my fault. Pause. This is pause. That's, that that was that was that was, that was weird. <laughs> so, but my my, my my rebuttal to that is, I never know when you're making these drinks. I just know I was I never, promised one. I never know when I'm making them either. It's a spur of the moment thing. All right, well, I'm a spare in the moment nigga. You just call me and I can I can pull up. <laughs> if, if, if you if you were that spur if you, if you were that spur of the moment, you would have just pulled up. Hmm. No. Uh, you're a changed man now, dude. So we don't know oh, what's happening. We, 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 we don't know if you're going left, right, up, down these days, player. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you tune I'm into that, same, that last episode. <laughs> Loves the dirty. I'm the same. Di- <laughs> I'm the same dirty that I've been. That's y'all, bullshit, y'all by the way. You can you can try that bullshit once, or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's you're not. It's not bullshit at all. Okay. Yeah, that, right, that, that sounds was, good, though. What, what happened? He was doing would be around right here with us on a Friday night. He ain't here. I was, I, I, was, I was there. I left. He, well, boy, Nick, I told. I, all right, we'll get in that later. But you knew what time I was coming. Oh, from the ship. So if we're being like transparent, my headphones were here. My base for my phone was here. Everything was here. I had to come on. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll be expecting a drink sometime before before the cookout next week. Shout out to the cookout, man. Right. We finally got it. out. Yeah, we talk about the cookout. Listen, you, oh, we going to man. If y'all, pull up Friday, the hook. if y'all pull up before Friday, I got you. I promise. Oh, I'll be there. Last That's right. You won't, he won't be at the cookout, right? Because I'm going to uh, take the side of Wildwood on Sunday. We'll be back Tuesday. So I'll be there Tuesday. Say what? We 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 got we got to take a ride to get some more uh simply, but that's a good joint. I'm already be in Jersey, so just let me know what's up. Say what? Cool. All right, uh, Cap. My we, man, we, tell us about your drink. Oh damn, man! I just followed motherfucking instructions, man. Yeah. The skinny mix shit. So it's a skinny mixes. Jordan, Jordan skinny mixes from I think you, you can find it at Ross. Passion fruit hibiscus margarita. Five calories, zero sugar. Um, Pooley likes it a little more than I did. I made the fucking drink. Um, I don't dislike it, but you can you can pretty much tell it's one of those drinks, you know, where you watch your sugar intake. Um, it's not nasty. So the, the directions read two, three parts to mix and one part to kill it. Fuck that. I, I did two parts to mix, man, and did like two parts fucking uh, tequila. One part, man, to drink it. I'm for the drink. Man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, man, I don't follow rules. Um, but yeah, uh, Pootie liked it. The, here, here it is. It's a, uh, it's a margarita, which I have a bunch of glass in here, which you guys know of, but I don't have any margarita glasses. So I have martini glass. Um, okay. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it a little more. Um, I made the shit. I, I'll give it like a six and a half, seven. Um, it's you, you know they got them. them uh, what you call it? Low sweeteners. What you call that shit? Splendor. Is it cold? Yeah. No, it ain't cold no more. But I did make it, might, it cold. Oh, okay, I was, I was gonna say it might but may, need to be cold. Yeah, it's been sitting. I just want to show you guys. I ain't want to really sip on too much without showing. But yeah, right. it's not like bad or horrible. It's just 
you can taste like it's one of the low calorie drinks because it's a skinny mixer brand I from get what Georgia. You like, yeah. hey, like it is what it is. You know, I tried. I actually wanted to make the uh, oh the, the Mexican Mo- Moscow Mule, but I didn't have everything I needed. That's what I was going to. I actually lost out the Mule cups and all that, but I was very short of ingredients, so I didn't do that. So I just pushed it up real quick. That's the me and Pooty are having now. Um, mm-hmm. it's tolerable. Like it's, it's you know. Drink. Right. I'm going to drink it. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, though. It's not one of my favorites. It's not. I think you probably could add maybe a splash of something, some type of uh, Perrier, maybe throw some uh, a little lime in there, or something, something, something with some, uh, something, something, you know, carbonated. Some okay. carbonated, I'll say, before we'll probably take it up from the six and a half to probably a seven and a half. But, uh, Putin, since you liked it more than I, I, I did, um, you can comment on it. You know, you know, pretty much tell us what you liked about it so much. Um, he full of shit. This is on like a negative six. Um, <laughs> second off, this is on. It's cool. It's um, like he said, I get this on like a. Uh, it's it's one of Dre drinks, so I give it like a six and a half, maybe seven. <laughs> um, but it's not horrible though. Like you gotta try it. Like it it, it gives me a um, it gives me a as if I'm drinking a truly. I'll say that because it's 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 um it's not it's not um it's not super strong, but like it 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 just makes me think I'm I'm drinking a truly so. It, it has a good taste to it. It's not all the sugar and all the extra stuff in it. So, like I said, I give it a six and a half or a seven. It's it's right, it's tolerable. doable. Right, right. Yeah, it's tolerable. It's doable. You know, one of those words. It's y'all would have to try it yourself to know what I'm talking about. Like, once you taste it, I, you're you're definitely gonna get that. Oh yeah, this it, it gives you that truly taste. Hmm. But yeah, six and a half or seven. And uh, Drees, I see you drinking on something too. So I, I don't have no mixed drink, but what, what you got? Uh, I got that same tequila I was talking about earlier. Reposado, Me Familia, uh, Me Familia, Flores. And he mixed with some shell key trying to put the block on there. I don't fuck with the block. It's mixed with some Florida uh, lemonade. That's it. Keeping it beast. Oh, right. it's, it's, it's really good. I like it. The Simple. price point on them, uh, the blocker is forty nine dollars. The repo is like fifty five. So okay. same price as Casamigos, but if I'm going to the store and I got a choose out of them, I'm picking those. Okay, pop it. Pop it. I keep it simple, Dre. <laughs> so keep it simple. Yo, so before we jump into this next topic, which is again brought to us by uh, the captain, you know, what I mean, he's taking us on a flight. We on our way down to Tampa. We got a few hours left, but you know what I mean? We're going to make it safe. You know what I'm saying? Shot o'clock. We might as well get another oh shot God, in. A few hours left. Yeah. So we we should be pouring on South Carolina right about now. We, we, let me go check. I mean, I, listen, I'm drinking. You, you the captain. I'm not. I'm just the passenger. Wait a minute, man. You're a co-pilot, man. Somebody got to pay the fuck attention now. I got a question, though. Like, before, like as we're like about to take our shots and shit, mm. Kat, what airline do you work for? <laughs> Jet Blue. <laughs> Jet Blue slash Spirit. Yo, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a funny ass question. In, yo, in, in <laughs> they threw a curveball right there. Yo, no, put, put the co because they I'm I'm Privy Spirits Airlines is who I'm working for. <laughs> We, we I'm, pri- I'm privileged spirited airlines. We, we, we did not hire you. Huh? We did not hire you. I started this fucking company. That's why. I hired y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> like I said, we on NWA Airlines at Malcolm X Terminal. <laughs> Die. Uh, look at my wife. I'm black. Uh-huh. And I'm black and I'm black and I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Come on. Get them drinks up. Shot a clock. Oh, I did mine. I, I thought, okay. Oh yeah, Damn. You, you, moving too fast. Damn. Tap the table. Yeah, that's what it normally does from what I heard. 
That's wild. He was drinking it like so it's not. <laughs> Even if I don't drink it, it's not. That's trying to play with my name. You know, you know, listen. He's the shortest motherfucker in all the So, like, of course he won't come hey, first. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm short. I'm tall at the same time. Oh, wow. Okay. This, I mean, you know, this just got I weird. don't know about all that. I mean, I would hope. <laughs> you, 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 you my you, man. You, 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 you know what I mean? I love you, so I hope you ain't coming up short. You know I mean? don't have to. Take it down, you know what I mean? Exit, listen, into that wound like an Aztec water. Okay. All right, you start doing too much. Right okay. <laughs> um, so, what's next? So yeah, right, right. Please. So, cat. Let's jump into the next thing that you uh, that you brought up, which I thought was another interesting topic. A um, little less about alcohol, but more so just about, um, I guess, your dynamic with your lady in a sense. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you can go ahead and jump into yeah, that. Yeah, now this is very, very interesting at the PO. Uh-huh. Because of what we're used to as our inner circle and the way we do things, like a lot of art, but you, I'll let you, you know, bring it on in. So pretty much, you want to bring it in? I'll bring it in. No, no, go ahead. You, you, no, I want All you to right, do it. So pretty much it was an interesting debate about whether – a man minds his woman, uh, so you know, your wife, your girlfriend, somebody of some type of significance, making another man a plate at a barbecue, you know, a, a household Sunday dinner, whatever. Right. Me, myself, need to make plates for me, which is Aunt Reese's wife, uh, Tanisha, Booty's wife, and maybe plates. Uh, dirt. Who the jury's still out on him? I don't know if we got a man or no woman. So, uh, I don't think Melissa ever. I don't know. I don't know. She's very hospitable. I can't remember Melissa did injuries. But anyway, our circle is very tight. So it's not like, how dare you make another man a plate situation? That's their speed. I was like, yeah, I come from a different type of like. Mm-hmm. Atmosphere, like you know, what I mean, as far as like you know, the fucking culture with my friends, like this is me. Like my lady has made all of my homies friends. She has literally set up there and out. We football Sunday, cooked the food, made the food for everybody, women, children, kids included, whatever. You now after that, you on you on your own. She'll make the first plate and that'll be that. But so some of my coworkers like now how in my woman, I would never. Allow her to like. I was like, yo, why not? It's echoing. Yeah. Like, 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 like why not? It's the echo. Yeah. So I, I just want to know, like, uh, if, if if you talk about like how um, everybody significant other will like do it, where does this question come from? Like, did you have a debate with somebody or something like that? Yeah, well, we talk about all types of shit in the post office, and it was it was an interesting discussion um, amongst a bunch of men. And so, like, I would say eighty percent of them was like, "Oh, I wouldn't. My, my woman can't make another man a, a, a whole plate." And I'm like, "Yo, and so a lot of them come to like the cookout, the you know neighborhood cookout, all the sticks." And I'm like, "Listen, yeah. I don't have a woman right now, but you're gonna see. You ain't gonna know who's who." But like literally, if I'm sitting down, hey Meek, you know what I mean? You mind give me a burger or something? Hey Tanisha, you know, what I mean? put a little more, you know, you mind make a plate of ribs and some mac, whatever. Like it ain't y'all niggas different. It ain't that deep. Like there, right. there's no disrespect at all. Like this is fucking family. That's my sister. That's my other sister. I don't know what y'all niggas used to, but I don't can understand I, I, that type of lingo. Like I don't know. Speak on it real quick. I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead. I got. I got an answer to this too. Go ahead. Uh, firstly, fuck you, Dre. Uh, <laughs> but excuse me, we can't hear you. Short. <laughs> what does Damn. that have to do with? He's throwing the shot. Like, Your voice box a little low, man. It's talk a little louder, Nikki, man. Nikki, Nikki, a little Nikki, close to the mic. First of all, got you got it. the highest pitched voice out of all of us. It's cool. It's not. It makes no. Sense. I'm not gonna get into it, but cool. I got I got a question I, after you, Drew. But I'm strong and I know how to fight. We're gonna talk. Well, I, got nigga, I know how to fight too. You, what you talking about? Well, we already had that debate. I'm. Oh, nigga, nigga, I'm how you go from one debate to the next? All right, let's stay on topic. <laughs> I tell all these niggas, don't let the light skin fool you. 
Don't let the short fool you. Hey, listen, I, listen, I squat a lot too, so I can get underneath. Pause. That don't make no sense. Yeah, yeah, but, it do. But no, you, love, yeah. listen, you can't, you can't reach my face, your body gang. That's all you're gonna try to do is, is get the body. So I gotta, Amazon, I gotta come down low. Amazon has. Hey, can you see the topic? Right, right. I don't know how they. Amazon use. has love. Is all I'm saying. It's now, whatever you ready. He, all right. He's weird. All right. But uh, I've I've had conversations with people, and they've always said that <clears throat> we're closer as friends than a lot of people are. Close, like friends and family, we're mm-hmm. closer than a lot of people are. So for Cap to say like he don't know what those like I, I don't know what type of niggas y'all are, you generally don't have what we have outside of us so much. So people feeling some type of way about that honestly kind of makes sense because they may not know how to deal with it or they may not be as close as we are. See, for us, like, I know for a fact if I go to Unique and say, can you make me a plate after you make Reese plate? Or even before Reese plate, she'll be like, I got you. I can go to Tanisha and say the same thing. I can go to Melissa's and say the same thing. I like I can go to a multitude of people and say the exact same thing, and it's never going to be an issue. It's never going to be like a problem because that's just how close we are. For other people, they don't have that same camaraderie. They don't have that same brotherhood. So I get it to an extent because people have told me like a, a few times, like, yeah, like y'all – Y'all are definitely different. Like we, like uh-huh. we are extremely close. And 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 I look at it sometimes. Like I see people and their friends, or even people that I brought into my circle. Like in their friends, it's like y'all are nothing like how we are. Like at all. Like even like even if like it, there's like an altercation or like a disagreement or like like a really like a war of words or like some shit is said that shouldn't be said or like didn't want to be said and. The next meeting is like, yeah, what's up? How you been? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like we have a we have so we have I, a dynamic that doesn't happen. Can, so. can I say something real quick? That, that's, that's 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 perfect. Can, can I follow up? Like, it's perfect. What I'm getting ready to say right now. So what he's saying is like, uh, like we all grew up together. We've been family for like life, and, and it's so easy. Like I can walk into my Charlotte house with no problem. Y'all can walk into my mom's house with no problem. Yep. And for me, living down here in Florida, I'm not as close to these people as I am in Philly. So that question will like more pertain to me because I don't really know these people as much as I know y'all or like I know y'all family. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, like when this makes my to play, I feel like I'm more secure than I am was when I was before. Before it would make me upset. But I'm so secure right now in my life and with my wife and stuff like that that it wouldn't bother me. Like if, if she mm. came to her and made two dollar J, which is our like our first time really hanging out together, and and I wouldn't I wouldn't bother <laughs> me because how secure I am with her. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, right. I, I, I understand why I don't understand why we meet they get a plate for Daryl because damn near like it's fucking sister He's for us. You know what I mean? Right. So it, it, it's it's different for me because I live down here with random ass people that I don't, I didn't grow up with or I don't really know. So right. I feel like they, they came with it with them. But like if you asked me probably two years ago, I'm I'm gonna make him a play. I would be upset. Like the fuck you think I don't know that nigga. Like you know what I mean? But I'm more secure <laughs> with myself, which I know like she not thinking nothing else but just doing it because she being hospital hospital or whatever how you say the word. I don't know. We we got it. Yeah hospitable. Right. But you know what I mean? So like that's that's what I mean. my point is to do where it's not so much as family oriented as it is with people back at home, you know. Right. So that, that, that makes I sense. Though. That. That's, that's my, that's yeah, my yeah. So, I got I feel like a perfect follow up to what he said. Yeah. I just got perfect. one thing to say. My man, whose cousin is a female, he didn't want to ask her to make him a plate because she was there with her husband. Actually he just got married by like a month ago. Shout out to them. But uh I'm like, yo, that's your fucking cousin. 
I don't give a fuck. Like, he was like, yo, she was like, was there with her husband. I was like, I don't, I don't, I swear, I don't, I don't stand in lingo. I just don't, man. I don't, I can act. Man, no, I got cousins on bad. my side, my dad's side. I have no problem asking any of you fucking females. Make me a plate. I don't give a fuck. Who, who's there? I just don't understand that. I just, I just don't. Like I just, I guess that's when you come from a different type but, of cloth. Like, I just don't. The, the, we're, we're, think, we're, we're unique, I guess. I, 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 I genuinely think that's what it is. Like we, like it's like we're. We are like, and I've realized that being with other people in their groups of friends, like we are a lot closer than like other people. Normal their friends, of friends like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it really is different. It's a different. I like thing. that. Yeah, oh, I love it. And Actually, I, I, we we did it's deeper I, than that. My bad, Derek. I ain't cut you off, but yeah, no, 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 like, I, I, but but I feel that because like everybody has a point they want to make on this topic specifically because I feel like we all see it. Mm-hmm. It's something that's like. It's noticeable for real, for real, especially because we all have people that we interact with. Uh, we have technical difficulties. I think he's. I can, uh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. He got he got clear Wi Fi. Oh no! I, I, couldn't <laughs> I, hear think, dirt. I think dirty, 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 yeah, he's dirty cut out. Yeah, he's dirty. Actually. yeah, dirt cut out though. It was a. Uh, I can't hear dirt no more, but. Um, just to keep the uh, conversation flow, I know uh, Pooty said he had something that he wanted to say um, after uh, Drees. Mute. <laughs> um. Yeah, basically, Dirt and uh, and Drees kind of like hit the hit it hit, hit. Um. Basically, talked about what I was going to say. It's it's a different dynamic. Like a lot of people don't understand the bond that we all have like amongst each other like mm-hmm. it's never an issue when if if dre was like like dre said like if he was to ask tanisha all right so i'll just use an example like yesterday tanisha made she made some food or whatever and it was it was on some shit like hey like since you over here i'm cooking i know every now and then you come around so i make sure i have enough to where you and your son is going to eat something so mm-hmm. she'll make enough food make the plates this and that, whatever. And if it's if it's a cookout going on, she'll she'll, she'll do a thing. She'll she'll make plates for anybody or or everybody or you know however it goes. She just it's just it's just it's it's our dynamic that we have, and it's it's so different. Like um and 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 to 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 bring up another example, it was it was um on i want to say saturday when we had the game night, the at, game the night at the house um she was making like a couple couple people from the uh plate couple couple people from the job plates and they didn't understand it and they was just like confused and it was like yo like you do this all the time and it was like yeah like this is this is normal like it's it's not an issue with us wanting to have fun Right. And it's just it's it's it's, it's, it's all, just about all about having, having fun, and fun and just appreciating each other's time. Each other's time. You never you know, know when the fuck you when when God calls you. So it's you you you're accepting everybody's time, like and and just enjoying the 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 time you have with each other. So I I'll never look at it as oh why are you making a play for that nigga or. What, what 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 what's so special about him or like no like if we're playing host all right if that person want to play or whatever or if i if he asks me if he can get something to eat, i'd rather my wife or somebody close to me yo can you hook him up like and, and make him feel comfortable right so that was that's that's my whole thing like i don't it's never it's never, it's never, it's never an issue for me, for me. Can, can y'all hear me yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. It's yeah. actually going though. I'm, I'm gonna say one more thing. It's, right? it's, 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 it's like crazy echo. Never mind then. Um. So yeah, I, I had to mute. I had to mute your uh your mic. I don't know what's going on. It's, it is echoing real bad though. Um. But 
I I would agree with exactly every what everybody said. I think we've all experienced that to um some hey, we're good. We're good, baby. I don't have the yeah. echo. All right. So yeah, I, I agree with like I said what everybody was saying because like I said, my wife, um, she's definitely made plates for everybody to probably you know, I mean that's in this uh uh, conversation um, and more um, people have made place for me. Like, I, and again, I think it does go into the family dynamics of, you know, what it is. And we don't call people who just blood related family. Like this has always been our dynamic where you don't have to be blood related to be considered family. So when, when you couple all that together and like for me and me and Pootie, we, we are brothers by blood, but we have a huge family. You know what I mean? We got a lot of brothers and sisters. So, they have each of us kind of have our extended people and you know what I mean? It's just all just family. So it's just, it's almost no way to look at somebody like that. Cause we ain't them type of people. You know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, me and cat, I've known him all of the years that I've you know I mean, been living on this earth and out of all of his women, they all made plates for me. All the women I've been with made plates. Like, you know what I mean? If we in that setting, so <laughs> it, it, it's hard My for me nigga. to look at that weird too. Yeah, yeah. Like it is like, it's hard for me to look at it weird because it's like, that's how we get his down. Lovelies. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah right. His lovelies. <laughs> but yeah, that's how we, that's how we do. That's how we interact. You know what I mean? That's how we show love. So it's like, you know what I mean? The men, we sit there, we talk our shit, but then, you know what I mean? Your woman coming with your plate. So, you know what I mean? It, it is what it is. So I, I think that was a, that's a, it's an interesting topic because I know that it is going to be a divide. I might want to even put it up on social media to see what people say, because at the end of the day, a lot of people just feel differently about this. They don't have that, that close knit relationship. Like even what Dries was saying, like we can go to Aunt Ryan the house and we can be in there chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? He don't even have to be there. So that alone tells you that level of, like comfortability that we have with each other's moms and, 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 you know what I mean? Just, just family in general. So I don't know. Like I, I'm like, I'm with you too. Dre. Like I can't look at it no weird kind of way. Cause I'm, I'm not in that mindset unless something were to happen. I would never even think about it that way. So I mean, I, I'm telling you, it's like 80, 85% of these guys. And then my man said, yeah, I, I, I felt funny asking my cousin. Yeah. That, that was a weird her husband to make me a plate. I said, I yeah, don't that's, know that's, what that's the fuck. I don't. I don't understand. I just right. Don't. It is. Don't. I mean, I wouldn't now. I'll say this. So, I wouldn't go. So, I just we just had a post over the brush not so long. I wouldn't go ask uh, anybody else's lady who we 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 fuck with each other's job, but I, but I don't know their wife. I wouldn't be like, yo, go make. You know what I mean? I mean, even I seen them come. Something. Hey, like, can you make me plate? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Right. But. What we got going on is special, man. It's significant. It's authentic. I love it. I mean, y'all need to, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, yeah, y'all can run into, well, see, oh, maybe y'all can't, you can't run into it, man. This, this shit, since this shit right. from the fucking womb, man. It's from the right. womb. We from the womb to the tomb, like literally. Like, so I can't even say run into that. It makes sense. Like, it's just. Yeah, you got the. I don't, know. That you just, I don't know how you, you know, it just. It is what it is, man, because you got stages. So you got Tyron, Winston, and them. They got me and Reese. You got Dank and Pootie and Dries and all, like the stages right. for this shit. But we all like, we like family. this. It's family. Yeah, we all family in the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we, we got a unique, man, bond. And, you know, we, we were fortunate, man. Blessed to have that, man. So, right. Speaking of, speaking of the stages, right? Uh, Dank. I was telling I was telling uh, your brother how in Cleveland we used to play uh, like <laughs> soccer or football because we didn't have a football at recess in Cleveland. You remember that? <laughs> <That's some> shit, <laughs> yo. Like Dick was a grade higher than me, so my grade used to play his grade and shit at recess. We even have like our, our elementary school didn't have a football, so we used to play like soccer or football with a soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, that, that is wild. I was I don't remember it was, that shit was so long ago, but I'm like, damn, that's some wild shit, yo. That's crazy. That is a fact. Like niggas would pick the ball up and throw it and all that. Shit. It was it was the the worst football soccer game ever. But it was fun. Like niggas was running into each other and there's nothing but concrete out there. So oh man, That's it was wild. That, damn that that was a good time, man. Ah damn, that was good. It was wild times. Um but yeah, you know, it's funny, yeah, I just brought that up because we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but um, the last two years we haven't been able to have our cookout due to COVID and 
you know, I mean, just people not feeling, thing. yeah, people not feeling comfortable being around each other in big crowds. So, you know, come next week, August sixth. This, you know this is mean? about to be. Yeah, this is about to be some time. shit, man. I feel it, man. Me, me, and Pooh be we Pooh be talking about this shit and dirt, man. This is about to be movie. one for the ages. Tyron yeah, yeah, even said, "Yo, this he, he was talking to me. He picked me up from the airport. He was like, yo, this shit about to be different.' Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I feel I, it. I, I, hope <laughs> this, I hope you don't have this Tampa bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm right, death, but uh, man, we ain't now. I ain't bring that shit up. Oh my <laughs> god, this <laughs> motherfucker, man. Stories is that's crazy. that's big bro though, man. I mean, if it came to boxing, man, I stand down that. He probably beat shit out of me, man. But I, I wanted to fuck him up that day. <laughs> yeah, you was testing him. You was definitely testing. I, I listen. I said I'm not afraid of no man. I believe in one. Listen, I'm, I'm afraid of one person. Well, one, you know, I'm afraid of God. Like, but I listen, little little big brother, man. I wanted to. I said, dog, you can't stand the ground. I walk on if you wanted to. So let listen. <laughs> This ain't, this is just so gonna crazy. be some MMA shit tonight, dog. I told my own brother that, but I still love him, man. I die for him, man. Nah, I mean, he he listen, man. He 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 is who he is, man. We we have differences. That's what you do. You, you have siblings, like you know. That's what it is, man. You know what I mean, right. I, I would never really want to fight my brother, man. Um, <clears throat> but we, you know, it's 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 gonna happen. You like not fighting, but you gonna have differences, man, and and the way things happen. Like, you know, he he he's different than I am. You know, a lot different. Honestly, he's light skinned. You know, I'm light skinned. He's brown skinned. You know, yeah, he's older. <laughs> I'm younger. Fuck. Sometimes, you know, yeah. That's that's what I talked about the other day, man. I said when when we was here having a podcast. Oh God, when I was talking about. And Deek and Yana said, you know, I was going to feel like being a husband. You're not going to feel like being a wife. I don't want to feel like being a next little brother. Nigga, I'm not little, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I ain't the fuck. I'm, I, listen, younger, yes. Little <laughs> fucking no. Now, he always told me, that's my little big brother. <laughs> now, I, mean, I wanted to fuck my aunt. I told, man. <laughs> but then, like Pooty said, man, like when it, turn, when, it when, when it turns to somebody else threatening us, it's go time. Right, yeah. Now, yeah. I mean, it was just switched automatically. Like, fuck us. Let's get this, these motherfuckers, man. Didn't, I mean, listen, that's what yeah. it is. It's all out of them. Like, like, like Tyrell, man, real estate. I mean, Wolfpack gang and all that. You know, it's construction, man. He's doing his thing, man. Flip a house, know how to build a house on the ground up. Call out Tyrell. I don't know if it's at Gmail, I think it is, man. Tyrell thirty three at Gmail, man. You know he he knows houses inside out, man. So that's my nigga. Yeah. So that's family, right? So again, yeah, the cookout, it's family. the cookout, August sixth next week. You know what I mean? Fernhill Park is going down. We got. Hey Reese, everything. you ready, dog? You I ready listen. to throw it back? You gonna do some push ups? I, I mean, listen. To the bitch. Con- that concrete bitch ain't with nowhere, baby. Listen, all I'm gonna say is we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be the most crazy shot of clock that we have. We're gonna probably have hundreds of people saying shot of clock all at one time, getting it popping. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Like we just gonna have a good time. Man. We've been doing this since ninety, I wanna say ninety six or ninety seven. Hey, but did y'all know the shit started on my patio? Man, that's that's the last that's the last time Cowboys won the uh Super Bowl. Oh my hey, god. So <laughs> Dying. We vibing, we vibing right now. That's right, right. We was cooling. He just just threw the the, the shot yo, in the. But yo, did, yo, yo uh, yeah, Reese and I'll mute when, when we gonna talk. But did, did y'all know? Because my brother talk it all the time. It started with a little circle grill, a little square grill on my patio, with like twenty people. Y'all knew that? I might have heard it. I just know. I remember them just saying like it's the around the way cookout. Where where? Yeah, Tyron told me it's just started on my yeah. patio. It might be true. I, I I know I've heard something before. It's just like my early yeah, remembrance. Watching the cow, Cowboy Super Bowl. Watching there you the go, Cowboy Super Bowl on the TV. There you go. Jesus Christ, man. Right, Don't right. Shit, man. This ain't, this ain't yeah, the sports man, edition. It. I'm not even going to jump into that right now. But yeah, like I said, we're going we gonna to have fun, man. We're going we gonna to do the damn thing as usual. We we bring a lot of people out. You know, We feed our hood. It's all free there. We don't ask for anything. Just come have a good time and just, you know what I mean, keep it safe because we got kids out there. So, you know what I mean? We just like to have fun. That's all it really is about. And that, that's that's what we've done, like, throughout the course of this time. So, 
You know what I mean? That's a highlight in my life every summer, motherfucker. Yeah, we used to <laughs> listen, man. It used to be mine too, man. Like I used to look forward to that shit. Like we was younger, it was like there's nothing else I'm looking forward to besides this cookout. We had a, the chicks come through. Remember, we used to have we get like yo, we need like two or three of them to come through. We had females come through. They like, oh, you invited her, you invited her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Gotta keep my options. Oh, put open. your best little fit lay on and oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you had that shit ready seven months yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was oh, crazy. Man. He older now. He like, man, got kids and like, you know, everybody got kids. Here. Well, one is about to make one, but <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 uh, about his shorties. Exactly. Yep. That's exactly. I mean, eventually, <laughs> yo, listen. You know, it becomes more of you come there to have fun. Now we're 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 sitting up here helping the infrastructure take place because, like I said, um, I ain't said just today. Got a hookah uh, set up, a hookah station coming. I have a uh, a juice station coming. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. I don't know if I want to say that on air, but along with the norm, the normalized liquor station, man. We this shit about to go down, man. This shit, Drees, man. Time. What's up, man? You, man, you gonna make thing. yeah? You gonna make your presence known, dog? I would get retarded. You gonna come, man? You know, you know another thing. You know another thing. Dirty birthday, baby. Day at the 30th birthday. Yep. Oh. He ain't going to be here. I, I think he's leaving, right? Well, oh, well, no, he's going to be here, bro. He's going to be here. Oh, you going to be here? <laughs> he's gonna be here. I, will, I will be here. I will be here. Oh, all right. Because I know you were saying he might not be here. So I'm like, all right. It's cool. So, Derek, yeah. how, yeah. How, 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 that shit. whatever age you turn, we're going to take that many shots? Woo. Mm. We try to kill you. We try to kill you. I'll say this. If we. You try to have you on the couch again. Well, listen, listen. Am I still echoing? <laughs> No, you good. You good. No, you good. You good. That's wild. I'll say this. I'm down with that many shots, but uh, oh. I can't be the only one taking that many shots. Oh fuck no! Oh, oh fuck no! He got the cat I'm, not, I'm not doing it by myself. I mean, cat ready? Nah. Nah. Well, negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. You, I, I know you ain't. Well, we're talking all day. I, I would hope you got some doors open. I'll say this. You ain't going on. If somebody's taking you on. Seven to eight shots with me the night before. They taking seven to eight shots with me the night of. I mean the morning of. We can we can get to it. But if not, I ain't doing it. Yeah, yeah. So that's, wait, that's wait a minute. How are you going to keep tab on who's taking what shots? Like, and keep it honest. Like, like the lat, the latter part of this episode has been a, been about how close we are. I'm going to see two of y'all for I'm sure. Yeah. 16, yeah. 17, 18 hours before that. So, so all right, I got a question. question. How early can I start taking my shots? Uh, well, my birthday is on that Friday, and I told Pootie already. I told Pootie already. I'm I'm waking up to a shot because my birthday. Well, well, so you can you can start as early as Friday. Well, we'll say Friday night. We'll say Friday okay. night. Okay. Okay. We'll say Friday night. I'm gonna try to get early shit so I can start drinking. Start drinking. So if I little note in my phone, like hey, listen, like I don't know, I'm gonna keep it on. Yeah, you, I trust you. I need to start that night, like early, like I probably need to go like Tasha or something, borrow something, start making it happen. You keep counting yours, I'll keep counting mine. We'll get to thirty-two. Reese, what you think about that? I, I I don't know. That's that's a lot to ask, but we'll see. Ask, but we'll see. Yeah, once I reach thirty five, we're not doing this shit no more. <laughs> yeah. so, we gotta keep going. So when you reach thirty five, you just have to like because we get we get older, you have to like give them like grace period of uh, starting a little week earlier. That's all. I, I feel like a day early is a grace period. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> But, um, I, I ain't no stuff, yeah. man. Let's drink. Fuck it. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. I love so, that episode. We, it's, yeah. it's, it's been recorded. Listen, we, 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 we can talk we, about we, this we, off we air. We can kind of come up with a plan. Come up with a plan. Fact. But we, we'll see what happens. We, we, we'll but, um, see what happens. But, um, you know, it's on public record. I hope you ain't planning on going to fuck home. It depends. It depends. It depends. Nah, no way. If I ain't got no hotel to stay in, I'm going home. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. What you saying? What you saying? What you saying? Yeah, it's time to wrap yeah, this thing up, you know what I mean? Up, Some privileged drinkers. Some privileged drinkers. Um, um, you know, our special guest, you know, Drees. Shell made an appearance. Shout out to Shell. Good ass show. Good ass show. Tune into that. Tune into that. 
Um, you know, but um, we get out here streaming on all major platforms. Major platforms. Uh, uh, go ahead, Dre. You usually ahead, spit them off. Go ahead. Oh, God, I ran lost my luster. Uh, fuck. Uh, Apple Music. I'm a Google guy, by the way. All the mainstream platforms, as you said, man. That made me like a little left hook. But um, follow us, man. Fuck with us, man. Um, we, we on the way up, literally. Um, How are we going to the website, man, with the clothing? I, I ain't want to. So yeah, they can um go follow us on well not follow but they can go tap into the uh, website. We got like a couple shirts up there. Got a hoodie for the uh, fall come uh, winter time. It is uh, I believe it's unprivilegeddrinkers dot uh, shopify dot com. I believe it is shopify. Yeah, but you shopify. can go find it in our link tree in our bio. Any bios that you got uh, that you following us on, just go on the link tree. It's the first one there. It's under new merch. I um, mean, go tap in with that. Um, our partners over there with gas. They got one too. I believe it's gas dot shop. Uh, Gas five dot shop, I believe it is. So you can go tap in them. They got a whole bunch of stuff too. Um, tap in with them. I mean, but that's what we doing, man. We we gonna keep uh, giving you all content. You know, what I mean, we like all the suggestions. We got a, a pretty a decent amount of suggestions over the last couple of episodes we did. So we gonna kind of bring them to the forefront and, and talk about them. Feature y'all on some episodes. But yeah, we getting out of here. It's our privilege drinking. Stay tested for the hood. Appreciate your time. Yeah. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Baby, 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 baby. It's the one right here. We turning up. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit? My man roller, he bring a zip. Right. Any Moscato and do say whatever you wanna get. Nothing but them good vibes when we come through. It's a fun event. All the ladies call your girls, all my niggas call your guys. Fall in line, they ain't got no plans. You can tell them to slide. I'm feast the beast. They told you otherwise, them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me. I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. This get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be. Sorry you ain't here, light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. Got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one, they say they like it, play it back, it got them hype, but I'm excited, never tired. Just keep it going with fire. I just want to catch a vibe. I'm privileged, baby.